you needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over the best budget piece in the game, specifically the top 10. There's an honorable mention in there. There's the top 10. They're kind of in order, not exactly. You'll know which ones I like the best, but I have them in an NA order. But 5 through 10, I kind of just left them like out there. I didn't really put them in an order. I'll say them as an order. But guys, these are pretty awesome players. I actually have individually used every single one of these players on this list so far. And I actually use, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I currently use 5 of these players on my team. They're not all starting. A lot of them are backups. Because obviously with an 87 overall team, you can only start so many budget beasts. But I'll be going over the prices, why I like them, and why you should use them. Now, guys, if you're new to the channel, please go down below and smash the sub button. We are at 3.6k subs. And I know if you guys are new, you don't know, you don't know this. We were at 2.1k subs like seven days ago. And we were at 3 subs, 3k subs yesterday. So we've grown over half a k subs in one day. If we can hit 4k tonight, that'd be the better be my best day on YouTube that so far. If we can hit 4k tonight, I'll be extremely happy, guys. It'll mean a lot. Go down below, also turn on the noti bell to be notified every time I post. It helps me out a lot, and you guys can get a lot of time sensitive information. Also, let's get this video to 200 likes. I know you guys can do it. We've been killing the like button. And guys, this helps me a lot too. Comment down below what budget beast I may have missed. Because if I miss a lot, I can go back and make a new one in like a week, a new video version of this. Especially as new cards come out with Mud Heroes coming soon. Flashbacks, a lot of budget beasts will be coming out. But guys, let's get into this video. So, first off, on this list, coming in at number 10. Again, the bottom five is in no specific order, but you guys get the point. When we go with Mr. Adrian Amos, let me type his name in real quick so I can just show you guys real quick. Amos is an awesome safety, as you guys know, every single year. That took a while to get to, get to him. Hey, let's go. His elite card, 82. So, he goes for about 26k, as you guys can see. But remember, the beauty of these cards, you can power pass them. And I know you guys have plenty of these 80 overall power passes. I know I have plenty. I haven't been able to use them yet. He has an 84 speed. So he's one of the fastest safeties in the game. Obviously not the fastest. That'd be Ken Houston, but he's one of the fastest. 83 excel. 81 play rec, 75 hit, and a 79 zone. You put some lockdown on this guy, he's going to have the 80 zone. He's going to have decent hit power, and he's going to have decent speed. He's Because right now, with the way the wiggle sticks are in this game, you need strong, you need fast safeties right now. Because slow safeties are a boon to your team because you they will break runs on you, and you need a safety to catch up to them. So forget the hit power because there's... Fumbles are being forced no matter who you are right now, so I could care less about that. And all you need is speed right now for a bunch of pieces of safety. Now, I gotta speed this up a little bit because I know if I spend too long on every guy, it's gonna take way too long. So, coming in at number nine is Amari Cooper. Now, Amari Cooper, probably should have typed Amari in. Amari Cooper is an awesome wide receiver. I started the year with him. He's an 83 speed and 80 jumping, 79 catching, 75 catching traffic, 77 spec catch, 77 short route running, 79 medium route running, and 74 deep route running. Now, his catching is a little low. But again, he's a powered up. He's a power pass kind of player. He has, he's pretty fast at an 83 speed. He's only 20K and he's 6 foot 1. So I'm putting a few receivers in there because obviously it's preference. You know, it depends on who you want. He's tall, he's fast, he can jump, and he can be powered up. He's. Not the best receiver out there. These next few are going to be a lot better than him. But trust me, he's definitely up there. Now coming in at number, I believe we're at 8, is Golden Tate. I have bragged about this guy plenty of times on this channel this week. This right here, this Golden Tate is one of the best wide receivers that any team could have that doesn't have a lot of coins. His stats don't stand out. I get that. But he's fast. He can jump. He can run short routes. He's a slot guy. But look at these abilities. Now, I'll explain why this is important. He has max security, which I'm pretty sure that means on, like, possession catches out of the slot. He, like, doesn't drop anything. Or if you hit him, he won't drop it. He's got slot automatic, which means that his slot routes are a lot better. And he's got slot apprentice, which means you can audible him to a crossing route, a post, and a few other things that I can't really think right now. Maybe a flag or a corner. Now, guys, this is huge. Because right now, training is at a high, high point. To get enough training to get all these abilities... Probably, like, 500, 500, 1,500. That's about 2,500 training. It would take you 150K. To get all his abilities on any wide receiver. So think about that. For 38k, you get a wide receiver that's fast, can play the slot, can catch, and he has 150k worth of abilities. It's a no-brainer. At least in my opinion. Now next up, we got a receiver that I typically not really... I like him in real life, not a fan of the game, but he has some pretty good stats. So Alshon Jeffrey. But again, his card. These mud superstars are the budget beasts of the world right now when it comes to Madden. 
They have too many abilities. It's just unreal. Look at, and look at his catching. 82 speed. He's pretty fast still. Especially on a budget team. 85 jumping. He has high jumping. Of course you're going to buy out. He has 81 catching, 86 catch and traffic, 88 spec catch, and 80 medium route running. Now, you want to compare him to DeAndre Hopkins. He has catching very close to DeAndre Hopkins in, in a lot of like obviously DeAndre is the 89 receiver, but he's not. He's like a baby DeAndre Hopkins. He's taller too, and you can power him up if you really want to. I wouldn't recommend powering up these guys though, because they will lose their abilities. And his abilities, he has double me, which means that in single coverage he's gonna catch most of what you throw at him, which is awesome because he's a perfect red zone threat. So when he's single covered in the red zone, you probably catch. He has slant specialist. So if you slant him in the red zone and you high point him on single coverage with double me, and he's got post specialist. So double me with post specialist. He's gonna he's an OP wide receiver for the price point he's at right now. Only 50K. Obviously, he's a little higher right now. It's early in the morning. He went down to about 50. Next in the list, this guy I can't search up. So I'm just gonna go to cornerbacks and I'll show you guys by comparison. This guy right here, he's actually free. So if you don't think free is a budget beast, then you don't know. Okay, I guess I gotta type him in because this game is being dumb. I forget that it doesn't get rid of it. So he's free. So in my opinion, he has to be one of the best options on this team. Because first off, right here, Marshall Lattimore Ultimate Trainers. All you gotta do is play the solos, do the objectives. I went over plenty of videos how to do it. 87 speed, 88 excel, 85 agile, 85 jumping. That is like a Pat Pete-esque, better than Pat Pete type of athleticism card. Yeah, his zone's a little low, but right now man's kind of the wave in this game. So he's got 83 man and he's extremely fast. He's a lock on speed corner right now. He doesn't have the best coverage stats, like I said, but speed's very important right now. I've been giving up so many big plays with the way this game works with wiggling and, and moving the sticks. So in my opinion, you need speed. It's the secondary. Marshall Adam was for free. I'd recommend taking him over all the other ultimate trainers. Most of you probably already have him, so I'm not going to spend too much time on him because obviously he's a budget beast. We all know. Next one, guys, is a quarterback. Another guy that I'm going to have to... Well, let's compare him with Eli because I like Eli. Now, so if you compare him with... Really? So if you compare him with Eli Manning, it's going to be Baker Mayfield. I don't have Baker Mayfield, but he is an 86 overall NFL epic. So I already put him into a set because I can't use him. He has, he has like, he's like a baby elite Mahomes if you look at his stats he has like a he's like a 72 speed he's partially mobile he can decently throw under pressure under the run I have to make this one quick only because I don't really have him it's kind of hard to go over this one for too long but in essence he's a free NFL epics it takes 60 stars to get him I went over plenty of times if you guys need to go see him go to the NFL go on Mudhead or go in the NFL epics and just you probably have him already I recommend him as your quarterback for any budget team I'm not gonna spend too much time on that one for reasons like I said now next one guys George Kittle I've told you guys plenty of times in the overrated video, screw all the other tight ends. George Kittle is your guy. George Kittle is your guy. I have, look, look, look at his, uh, his power up theme. 82 speed, 74 strength, 86 catch, 78 catch and traffic, 81 spec, 79 short route running, 77 medium route running, and 80 run block. So the best part about this card is his speed and his run block. So I had Travis Kelsey, 87. He's too slow and he can't run block. So in essence, you're paying 90K for a, a left tackle that can't block because that's how slow he feels i do an out route with him he's too slow george kittle does out routes he actually can break on it a little bit and when he catches the ball he actually i've actually gotten 80 yard touchdowns like he can burn past them trust me george kittle is a beast now remember he's 82 so you can use his power pass on him and then you could power him up to this one that's why i like him this elite one's okay but if you could power up him with your power up pass you probably have or you could just buy them if you have them you got them out of the pack right at level 20 and then you could power past his 87 or his 86 team builder i should say or even just power him up to an 85 he's gonna be a beast tight end and i personally like him a lot more than all the other tight ends especially compared to like zach Ertz and those guys are too expensive next on the list is one that i was using since day one he's probably like my wide receiver four right now or wide receiver five because obviously i have a lot of receivers but brandon cooks this card right here is 14k he has an 86 speed and an 80 cash all you gotta know he is right there in terms of Tyree kill level. Look at it. Five foot ten, really fast, faster than most people. They both have bad catching. The only the only difference really is that he's even a worse catcher, but it doesn't really matter. This guy is a burner. You're not using him to contest the catch and throw him into traffic. You're using him to burn. If you need a burner, a Tyree kill S player for under 10, 15k, I should say. Brandon Cooks is your guy. Next, top two on the list, we got Saquon Barker coming in at two, which I probably should have put him at one, but. I went against that because I feel like that'd be a biased Giants fan thing. Guys, to compare him, Mark Sound's on a proper comparison. But these are the top two guys. Saquon Barkley, number one, Philip Lindsay. So guys, it's pretty obvious why. 
I compared him in my last video in the overrated video. Saquon Barkley is the best running back not named Marcus Allen. If you compare him to Todd Gurley, Saquon Barkley's got better stats. You compare him to Ezekiel Elliott, and Todd Gurley's 140K, Ezekiel Elliott is 90K. I will take Saquon Barkley at 25K all day of the week. Again, he was just going for 25. He looks a little up right now. But Saquon Barkley for 25K, definitely a move. He's got 83 speed, 84 cell, 87 agile, 84 carrying, 68 catching, 78 elusiveness, 72 truck, and 86 broke tackle. He's a power back. He's a speed back. He's strong, and he can decently catch. He's definitely the move. Now, the reason I put number one is Philip Lindsay is because of his speed and his abilities. The abilities kind of put him over the top. 86 speed, first off. He's the second best fastest running back in the game, I believe. Not named Marcus Allen and Terry Cohen. Maybe. I think they might be tied. He can. He has good agility, good carrying, and good excel. Decent elusiveness, but the big thing here is his abilities. He's got first one free, homer, and backfield mismatch. So backfield mismatch, it means that when he runs routes out of the backfield, he actually gets better route running and better animation, I'm pretty sure. And then homer means that when he's in his home stadium, I'm pretty sure it's quicker to get his X factor. And first one free means once he has it activated, he pretty much shoots out the first guy that comes in contact with him, like a higher chance. So guys, Philip Lindsay and Saquon, I told you I personally use them. Like, they're so good, I don't even sell them. They're my backup. So, Marcus Allen's tired, Philip Lindsay comes in, and Saquon Barkley. I love all three of them. I'll probably end up powering up Barkley. Philip Lindsay, I won't power up only because you lose their abilities when you power them up. And they're kind of expensive. Like I said, that's about 1500 worth of uh, training again. This one's a little cheaper because Slot Apprentice was more expensive. But, guys, that's about it for the video. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to smack the like button. Get it. Let's get us to 200 likes in this video. Let's get... You know what, guys? Comment down below, by the way, before I forget what i missed in this video and who you guys think i misranked i love hearing it i love the feedback it helps me out also smash the sub button guys let's get the 4k sub button tonight let's do it i believe i believe in you guys we could do it and turn on the noti bell to get notified every time i post guys thank you so much for watching i'm out see you guys in the next video peace